Talking about the breakdown in the uh, relationship between you and the government, I mean, when after the election in 2011, you had this pact, you had an agreement, and some people even thought your, your group was going to dissolve into the ACN, but eventually relationship broke down. What exactly was responsible for it? After the election, there was a, what you can call a hunk parliament. None, none of the three parties had majority. had majority in the house. So we had seven, PDP had 12, ACN had 13. So if we had teamed up with PDP, we would have formed the, the majority in the house. If we had teamed up with uh, ACN, we would have formed the majority in the house. So, and uh, when the governor appealed to us to say that, look, please, can you please allow your party to work with me? And I said, why not? If it is in the interest of the people of your state. Because I felt that uh, when elections are over, elections are over. The next thing was governance. And uh, anything that you can help the governor with to make him succeed will also reflect on the generality of the people. If the schools are good for everybody, it's good for me. If the roads are good for everybody, it's good for me. So that's why we now said that, look, for governor to have stability, we were ready to work uh, with him in the house. And uh, he asked us what he wanted. We said, what will you offer? And he offered us 20% uh, positions in all his government. And he also said that we are going to have Critical chairman of the four local governments where our party led at the election. So that, that, that was the time. And uh, we didn't have even 10%, not to talk of 20% of the positions. We didn't have the critical chairman except for two that were there for about three months. So the government reneged on its. Energy. Yes, the, the government reneged on its government, and, and that is ungentlemanly. So, but that is not actually the reason, reason for breaking down in the relationship. You see, the impression created was that uh, Ladoja was uh, running the government along with Ajima, which was not true. Uh, so, when Ajima started his uh, anti people policies, we had to talk out because it was not part of our agreement that we are going to dissolve into the ACN. We were a party in our, own, in our own right and we wanted to stay. So when it became clear that uh, the governor was not going to fulfill his agreement with us because all along what he was saying was that, uh, yes, it was because uh, Lam was not uh, uh, comfortable with uh, the agreement. That's why it was not, uh, it was, it was being cautious. But uh, no sooner Baralam died, then uh, he became the leader of his party. He became the Alpha Omega and Omega in his party, at least in your State. So he felt that uh, he didn't need us again because he, want, he was actually using us as a protection against Baralam. So he would tell Baralam that, look, that other guy is here to assist me if you not playing ball, so, but finally we found that uh, that was the reason. And, uh, so when he started uh, his uh, anti-people policies, he said, look, we cannot go on like this. So tell me, what exactly are these anti-people's policies you're talking about? What are they? Yes, he wanted to expand the roads. Good idea. Good idea, yes. We don't say that you should not do, you should not do that one. But uh, what about people that are having their shops there? Have you provided alternative for them? And I told him that this is not the first time that uh, such things happen. When Bolaigi wanted to move the baggy traders away from the place, he created another baggy. That was the Bolaigi uh, business uh, complex at uh, Ife Road. When they wanted to move the people away from Dubai, they created a national year market. So I do not say that do not develop the state, do not make rules, but you must also add know that uh, those people, that is their means of livelihood. And uh, later on, it started saying that uh, what are they selling? They were selling what they were saying. 
that is uh, to him they were, they were selling rubbish but uh, that is rubbish they were selling with which they were selling their children to school even to the university you see but there's a funny place there is a place that I knew from the time I was born we used to call the place Ilionigo the only thing they were selling there were empty bottles and yet they have produced lawyers doctors engineers with the proceeds of those of those years so when you when you start now seeing that the people did not when you are destroying their, their means of livelihood then you are not saying that uh, we, are, we should stay, we should keep quiet and not talk we have, we have, of course we have to talk because we believe that uh, government must have a human face so specifically are you saying that um, the only reason why you left the the agreement why why relationship broke down and you left the government was just because the governor was carrying out anti-people's policy is no, no, we, 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 talk, we, 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 talked, we talked about the anti-people policy, but the government also was not comfortable with us. We say, like, if we, are together, if we are together, then you should not criticize me. I mean, right, if we, where the criticism is, is uh, constructive. So, so we waited until he said, I didn't need you again, so I'm, I, I'm here by a second. The people and, they said, and, they, and they said, good. And they, luckily, we did not lose anybody to his government. We had about 32 or 35 people in the government, and all of them came back. It has never happened in the, pol in, in, in the history of a political parties and government in Nigeria. So what other thing was the governor doing that didn't go down well with you? Most of the time, deep thoughts don't go into, the, into their planning. I can't really explain, because, I mean, a leaflet came to my hand of recent, whereby they said that uh, they were comparing the Makola Bridge that has been commissioned with uh, Ogun State 1. Ogun State was said to be 640 meters, four lanes. Ohio State was said to be 420 meters, two lanes. Ogun State did not have a barrier, which means that any vehicle can go on it, including tankers and trailers. Or just it, even a jeep cannot go on it because it, which means that it is so fragile. And yet, for every square kilometer, for every square meter of the bridge, while Ogun State paid one naira, or just State paid six naira, because that of Ogun State, six forty to four twenty in length four lanes to two lanes in width cost 1.5 billion naira. That of your state cost three billion naira. So what what's happening? Is the terrain of uh, your state worse than the state? Or is that of uh, your state made in gold? So some deep thoughts do not go into this issue. Then the same, and, and it's just like that in many issues. Because the civil servants are no more available because most of their top echelon have been sacked. So, what is going to happen? The, the governor is denying himself the opportunity of knowing what happened before. Because the civil service is supposed to be there, government coming, government go. And they are supposed to brief whatever government is coming. So who is going to brief the government? And anything, in fact, I was told that the man in charge of uh, bridges in uh, your state was sacked because they told them that the, 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 there was a design fault in the bridge at the, at the inception. And he was sacked. So the man who also refused to pay the, to send the variation on the bridge also was sacked. That's not the way you run the government. That is not the way you run the government. We have to take it that the government 
the governor will come and the governor will go. The civil service is there. Personally, how would you assess the performance of this governor, the governor of your state at the moment? It's too early to assess him. It's been two years? No, yes, it's too early to assess him because uh, uh, campaigns have not started. Some people would say, well, two years is uh, quite a long time with which to assess someone. And he's been there for two years now, and some people have been saying he's doing very well. If you say very well, it's, re it's relative. It's where you stand. I am for the people. I don't think, I think you can still do the same thing by not destroying the people's livelihood. I know you would say 2015 may still be far away, but let's, let's just talk about it. You're a politician. They say, um, you know, no time is ever too long in politics. And besides, everybody's talking about 2015 now. So 2015, what is your plan? What do you plan to do? Uh, you know that, uh, one, I am, an, I am an engineer. I don't believe much in speculation. Two, I do not know whether I will be alive by then. But if by the grace of God I am alive, then I will do whatever my party asks me to do. Are you asking me whether I was going to contest? Sure. If that is the wish of my party, I will contest. So you mean if your party asked you to run for governor, you would do so? Of course, yes, I will. And you wouldn't be bothered at all by criticism because some people would, for instance, would say, what else do you want? That you've been governor before, so what, 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 what would you want? What, what, why would you want to come back? The service and you have to understand one thing. The love the people of Ohio State showed me at the last election was enough to make me become their slave. You put the party in two months and you got substantial votes. That's uh, incredible. And that is enough to enslave me. So all my life now, the only thing I have to do is to serve the people of Ohio State as much as I can. In 2011, you won the areas you won, of course. I mean, your party did well, no doubt at all. New party, and a lot of people have given you credit for uh, the achievement of that party in Ohio State within a very short time that you joined it. But some people have said, that the problem with your party is that it is not popular across the state, that the, your area of strength is basically around the Ibadan area, that outside of these areas, so you go to places like Ubomosho or Kyogu, that you're not popular then. How do you think you'd be able to make any headway at all if your area of strength still remains uh, confined to the Ibadan axis? Don't you know that uh, the further you are from the centre, the less you hear? So if there is a center, so, so, those, so, so those areas, we have been working hard there, and if we conduct an election today, we will remain there. We have in, those been areas, in those areas. We want to talk about Okugun, Ogumasho, Baraka. Of course we will remain there today. Because people have found that we are reliable, our party is, has got good records, and uh, the leadership is uh, the one they can trust. Let me ask you to react to this, you know, general impression out there by, by people that, you know, your state, that you never can be a governor twice, that no governor gets elected twice, that it, it's like a tradition, so to speak. That is untenable. You see, maybe accidents have been happening. It's not that the uh, people of Ibadan or people of Oyoste don't want to vote for somebody two times, as they said. I don't, I don't subscribe to that one at all. If they find a good candidate, they will definitely vote for you. So you're saying the same accident, I mean, this, we're talking about the same accident that has been repeated over time. This accident keeps happening all the time and you think it's just, there's just nothing to it. You see, it's, it's an accident in the sense that uh, before, there have always been one coup or the other. But since, since 1998, 1998, 1999, of course, it was AD, it was PDP, it was PDP again. And uh, if, 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 if uh, there had not been the accident of uh, uh, impeachment, 
it could have been a two-term larger PDP because it was PDP, PDP. So it is not tenable that uh, one person cannot win election two terms. So it depends on. Uh, so that's why I say that accidents do happen, and the accident that happened in in PDP is already getting more and more glaring. I mean, it's tearing the party already apart. <laughs>